get ready. Hey Disney lovers and welcome back to another What's Coming to Disney Plus UK video. If you're new to the channel then hello and welcome. We make Disney Plus videos every week as well as other updates and trailers throughout the month. Make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to never miss a video. Everything in this video does come from Disney sources and are correct at the time of recording. But Disney do make it known that these are subject to change which means they may add items or even take some away. As always, I will leave the timestamps in the description so you can just jump to the day that you want. With all that out of the way, let's see what's out this month. First of all, some of our viewers have said that they aren't getting notifications or even being unsubscribed to the channel when they didn't change this. So I recommend checking that you are subscribed now and click the notification bell setting it to all to get all of our updates. But anyways, Disney Plus are calling March Movie Madness Month. So let's see if this is true. First up is Wednesday the 2nd of March. Broken Karaoke Season 1 is the first to kick off this month. This is a series of shorts bringing Disney Channel animated characters together to sing various song parodies. In the National Geographic section, we have Cosmos Possible Worlds Season 1. Following the widely successful Cosmos A Space Time Odyssey, Neil deGrasse Tyson returns as host to translate more revelations of science into a lavish transporting experience, taking audiences on a series of spiritual voyages of exploration. Also in that geo is Lost Treasures of Egypt Season 1, which is quite funny as we have only recently had Lost Treasures of Egypt Season 2. I love how they bring these programs out on Disney+. Plus. Over in the star section, we've got Steven Spielberg's West Side Story. Love at first sight strikes when young Tony spots Maria at a high school dance in 1957 New York City. Their burgeoning romance helps to fuel the fire between the warring jets and sharks, two rival gangs vying for control over the streets. Next up is season one of Outrun by Running Man, a Korean show where four stars from the Running Man series are reunited for wild competitions with some superstar guests. Season one to two of Single Parents comes to star on 2nd of March. A group of single parents form their own support system as they raise their kids and struggle to start new relationships. Seasons 4 and 5 of Rudolph's Bakery is about baker Rudolph Van Veen, funnily enough. Strange to start with 4 and 5, but there we go. And finally, Season 4 of The Cleveland Show. So far for Movie Madness Month, there's no movies. Great start there. Strange one of Thursday the 3rd of March, The Dropout. Money. Romance, Tragedy and Deception. The Dropout is the story of Elizabeth Holmes and Theranos, an unbelievable tale of ambition and fame gone wrong. How did the world's youngest self-made billionaire lose it all in the blink of an eye? Episodes 1 to 3 will be released on the 3rd of March, then weekly on Thursdays. Then on Friday the 4th of March, I cannot believe my eyes, we have X-Men First Class, finally. Now I do believe that is all the X-Men Legacy movies now on Disney Plus UK. This will be over in the Marvel section. During the Cold War, fellow mutants Charles Xavier and Eric Lencher join forces with other mutants to save humanity from a nuclear attack and possible world war. Then in the Nat Geo section we have three new shows, World's Biggest Great White, Flooded Tombs of the Nile and Women of Impact Changing the World. But then over on the star section, Movie Madness is delivered. First up is I Give It A Year. Nat and Josh are a happy couple with a lot of differences. This makes the family and friends predict that their marriage won't last. Josh's ex-girlfriend and Nat's handsome client also add to the confusion. Next up is The Mercy. Yachtsman Donald Crowhurst creates an outrageous account of his disastrous attempt to win the 1968 Golden Globe race. Tinker Tailor Solia Spy is coming on the 4th of March. A retired spy, George, is summoned by the government to investigate a case. With a secret Soviet agent assumed to be working within their system, will George be able to unveil his identity? We also have the sense of an ending. A middle-aged business owner who lives a quiet life in London reunites with his first love after his mother unexpectedly receives a letter from his ex-girlfriend from school which forces him to confront the past. Quite a few British movies. Next is Calvary. An honest and good-hearted priest wrestles with a cynical, spiteful community after he receives a death threat from an unknown parishioner. 
Uneducation is about teenager Jenny whose life changes when she meets David, a man twice her age. He pursues her romantically, but she is in for a rude shock when she discovers that David isn't what he seems to be. Keeps going with I, Daniel Blake. Daniel Blake is a 59-year-old widowed carpenter who must rely on welfare after a recent heart attack leaves him unable to work. Despite his doctor's diagnosis, British authorities deny Blake's benefits and tell him to return to his job. As Daniel navigates his way through an agonizing appeal process, he begins to develop a strong bond with a destitute single mother who's struggling to take care of her two children. Next up is a historical drama, The King's Speech. King George VI tries to overcome his stammering problem with the help of his speech therapist Lionel Logue and makes himself worthy enough to lead his country through World War II. We'll be getting a feature of Diary of a Wimpy Kid from 2010. And finally, we'll be getting Fresh. Fresh follows Noah, who meets the alluring Steve at a grocery store. Given her frustrations with dating apps, she takes a chance and gives him her number. After their first date, Noah is smitten and accepts Steve's invitation to a romantic weekend getaway, only to find that her new paramour has been hiding some unusual appetites. Now these are the kinds of things we should have had on the first anniversary of Star on Disney+, Plus, but let's see what else this month holds. Moving to Wednesday the 9th of March, firstly we have season 1 of Weekend Family. This series chronicles the life of a new step family that meets up every weekend. But when the father gets into a relationship with a new partner, the weekends take on a whole different turn. And on that geo, we have season 1 of Gathering Storm and season 1 of Jungle Animal Rescue. And then on Star, we have season 2 of The Great North starts with episode 1 and 2 and weekly releases. Then finally, we have season one of the ABC show Emergence. A sheriff investigates a case involving a young child found near the site of a mysterious accident. On to Friday 11th of March, and firstly, we have something that people aren't too happy about. Turning Red is coming straight to Disney Plus and not to movie theaters. A lot of people are worried for Pixar not receiving any theatrical releases, but they still get paid a lot of money to make these movies by Disney. So fear not. Mei Li is a 13 year old girl who is torn between being her mother's obedient daughter and the chaos of her youth. And if that were not enough, when she gets too excited, she turns into a big red panda. Then we also have Embrace the Panda Making Turning Red on the 11th of March. So as soon as you watch the movie, you can watch the making of, which is pretty cool. Then on Nat Geo, we have the Hidden Kingdoms of China. Meet China's most affectionate and vocal monkeys in the remote seasonal forests of central China. Follow the journey of a baby golden snubbed nosed monkey during the first year of her life as she learns all about her forest home and battles the elements to survive. Then hopping into the star section, first up is Man Up, a phrase I hate. Anyways, Nancy is traveling across London to toast another 10 years of her parents' magical marriage. She runs into Jack, who mistakes her for his blind date. Nancy decides to go with it and starts the most chaotic journey of her life. Also, we have Mindhorn, a has-been actor known for playing British detective Mindhorn, works alongside the police to catch a serial killer who will only speak to Mindhorn, whom he believes to be real. Next is Our Kind of Traitor. Harry and his wife go on holiday to save their marriage and come across Dima, a man who is involved with the Mafia. They soon find themselves caught in the middle of a crisis. Swallows and Amazons is another to appear on the 11th of March. Okay, this month is Movie Madness. A group of children are on a holiday in the Lake District. They decide to camp on an island, but on reaching there, they fight with two sisters who share their idea of camping. Then finally is the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. What a name for a movie. In 1946, a London-based writer begins exchanging letters with the residents on the island of Guernsey, which was German-occupied during World War II. Feeling compelled to visit the island, she starts to get a picture of what it was like during the occupation. Wednesday the 16th of March, first up is seasons 1 and 2 of Jongay Garde and then season six of Rudolph's Bakery, so another totally random season to come out. 
But for the little ones, we have Muppet Babies Seasons 3, Episodes 27 to 30 coming out too. As well as Spidey and His Amazing Friends Seasons 1, Episodes 13 to 17. Then on that geo, go Beyond Magic with DMC in Season 1, where DMC explores the dark and often disturbing world of sorcery and witchcraft. Season 1 of X-Ray Earth also arrives on Nat Geo, and we have Season 1 of Wild Nordic. On Star, we have Nightmare Alley in 1940s New York. Down on his luck, Stanton Carlyle endears himself to a clairvoyant and her mentalist husband at a traveling carnival. Using newly acquired knowledge, Carlyle crafts a golden ticket to success by swindling the elite and wealthy. Hoping for a big score, he soon hatches a scheme to con a dangerous tycoon with help from a mysterious psychiatrist who might be his most formidable opponent yet. And season 17 of Grey's Anatomy arrives for you to binge watch until your heart is content. We have an amazing Friday the 18th of March for you. But first up, before we look at Star, on Nat Geo we have Challenger Disaster Lost Tapes, which follows the story of the space shuttle Challenger and its crew, specifically Krista Morley Leaf, the first civilian to be launched into space. And lost on Everest on June 8, 1924, the British explorer John Mallory and Andrew Irvine disappeared high on Mount Everest, just 800 vertical feet from the summit. Irvine is believed to have carried a camera that final day. The reboot of Cheaper by the Dozen also releases on the 18th of March. A man and his wife navigate a hectic home life while trying to raise 10 children and manage the family business. Also, we have More Than Robots, which is a documentary that follows four teams of teenagers from around the world as they prepare for the 2020 first robotics competition. Get to know teams from Los Angeles, Mexico City and Chiba, Japan as they work towards the goal of taking their unique designs all the way to the highly competitive global championship. But let's not delay. Alien is coming to star on the 18th of March. The entire collection. We did have Aliens, which was the second movie come last year, but now we have all of them, so let's quickly go through them. Alien is a sci-fi horror about the crew of the spacecraft Nostromo as it intercepts a distress signal from a planet and set out to investigate it. However, to their horror, they are attacked by an alien which later invades their ship. Alien 3 is next, which continues on from Aliens. Ellen Ripley's escape pod crashes on Fiorina 161, a penal colony planet terrorized by an alien. She rallies the inmates into killing it, but realizes that something is not right with herself. Alien Resurrection is the fourth in the Alien series. Ripley is aboard a vessel with some space pirates. However, when aliens invade the vessel, Ripley does her best to prevent them from reaching and destroying Earth. Then we have Alien vs Predator. A team of archaeologists investigates a suspicious spot in Antarctica and discover an alien species. Their life is further endangered when they are caught between and hunted by aliens and predators. Aliens vs Predator Requiem is also coming. A spacecraft brings a lethal alien to Earth followed by another predator who aims to kill the former. Meanwhile, a bunch of survivors split into two rival groups in a bid to save themselves. And then finally, from the Aliens movies, we have Alien Covenant, which is a direct sequel of Prometheus, which we already have on Disney+. Crew of a colony ship Covenant receive a radio transmission from a habitable planet. However, they encounter deadly aliens while investigating the planet and try to escape. Wow, such a drop, which should have happened on the first birthday of Star, but never mind. We have more movies to come on the 18th of March. Mr. Holmes is next. Sherlock Holmes is a retired detective who suffers from dementia. He is unable to remember the two unsolved cases that led to his retirement, but tries his best to learn about his past. Song for Marion, aka Unfinished Song, is about grumpy pensioner Arthur who honors his recently deceased wife's passion for performing by joining the unconventional local choir to which she used to belong, a process that helps him build bridges with his estranged son James. More horror with the woman in black. A lawyer is assigned to travel to a village to examine a house that belonged to a recently deceased woman. He discovers the spirit of the same woman and learns that she's killing the village children. 
And finally, for the 18th, we have The Woman in Black, Angel of Death. A series of bombings in London forces caretakers Eve and Jean to relocate with a group of orphan children to a house in the countryside. However, the house is attacked by The Woman in Black. Happy almost second birthday, Disney Plus UK, with Wednesday the 23rd of March. Disney Plus was released on the 24th of March 2020, but anyways, let's get on with the releases. First up, we have season one of Parallels, which tells the story of four friends whose lives are turned upside down when a mysterious event scatters the group into different timelines. The four teenagers will do all they can to understand what has happened and try to get back to the carefree innocence of their former lives. Then we have Rise Up, Sing Out, an animated show featuring music-based shorts that showcase an inspiring, empowering, and optimistic message about race, culture, community, and celebrating differences. Also, we have season one to two of Like Me. Don't have any information on this just yet, but if you do, then please do feel free to pop a comment down below. Over on Nat Geo, we have Car SOS season nine. Then on Star section. Firstly, we have The Eyes of Tammy Faye, in the 1970s, Tammy Faye Baker and her husband Jim rise from humble beginnings to create the world's largest religious broadcasting network and theme park. Tammy Faye becomes legendary for her indebitable eyelashes, her singing, and her eagerness to embrace people from all walks of life. However, financial improprieties, scheming rivals, and a scandal soon threaten to topple their carefully constructed empire. Season 1 and 2 of Liar also arrives on the star section, a drama about a rape accusation and the question of who is lying. But then something a bit more cheerful is Alvin and the Chipmunks. Dave Savell teams up with three musically inclined chipmunks in order to make a mark in the industry. However, Ian Hawke, a greedy record producer, tries to split the group and exploit the chipmunks. Almost done with the month, Friday the 25th of March. Firstly, we have the next Mickey Mouse short of The Wonderful Spring of Mickey Mouse. On Nat Geo, we have Rebuilding Paradise and Buried Secrets of Cordoba. Into the star section, firstly is the Ice Age adventure of Buck Wild. Buck, Crash and Eddie try to keep their lost world from being overtaken by dinosaurs as they set out to find a place of their own. Then we have Olivia Rodriguez driving home to you, a sour film which will feature her taking a road trip from Salt Lake City to Los Angeles. But then moving back to more movie madness, first up is Quartet, at a retirement home for professional musicians, the residents prepare for an annual concert dedicated to Verdi. However, the arrival of the diva-like Jean throws a spanner in the works. Then we have Seven Psychopaths, the film, I mean. I don't mean we have seven psychopaths here. Anyway, Marty, an aspiring screenwriter working on a screenplay, unwillingly gets involved in an underworld crime when his strange friends abduct a dangerous hoodlum pet. Also out on the 25th is Tamara Drew. Tamara returns to her hometown to sell her mother's house. She is now an established writer and is far more attractive than before. She starts attracting ex-flames from her past who want her back. More rom-com with The Love Punch. Richard and Kate, a divorced couple, take the help of their neighbors, Jerry and Penelope, to fight the injustice done to them by a corrupt French businessman. Then we've got The Proposal. When New York editor Margaret faces deportation, she convinces her assistant Andrew to marry her in return for a promotion. However, when she visits his hometown, it changes her in many ways. Flying high is Amelia. Amelia Earhart is recruited as the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. However, when she doesn't get her share of the fame, she decides to fly around the world until she is struck by tragedy. A sport romance now, never heard of that genre, but anyways, goal. Santiago dreams of playing professional soccer, but his father wants him to support the family and earn his livelihood. Santiago must make a choice between the needs of his family and his passion. And finally on the 25th is the aftermath. When Rachel arrives in Hamburg in the aftermath of the war, she is saddened by the destruction she sees. Things get complicated when she has to share a house with Stefan and his daughter. And finally, Wednesday the 30th of March. First up is Marvel Studios' Moon Knight. 
Moon Knight follows Stephen Grant, a mild-mannered gift shop employee who becomes plagued with blackouts and memories of another life. Steven discovers that he has a dissociative identity disorder and shares a body with mercenary Mark Spector. I am really looking forward to this and will be doing review videos weekly, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to join in on the chat. Then we have season one of Knights of Castle Corvo. Four kids will have to solve mysterious enigmas and face their fears to become the paladins who fight the evil that lurks in Castle Corvo. On the Nat Geo section, we have Running Wild with Bear Grylls Season 6 and Pet Seekers Season 1. Then finally, in the Star section, we have Siren Seasons 1 to 3. Siren is American fantasy drama that follows a young Siren who comes to a small coastal town looking for her abducted older sister. Then finally is Alvin and the Chipmunks, the Squeakwell. Back in school, Alvin, Simon and Theodore must save the school's music program by winning the Battle of the Bands. For this, they must beat Brittany, Eleanor, and Jeanette, also called the Chipettes. But that's it for what's coming to Disney Plus UK this month. Let me know what you're excited about seeing this month in the comments below. Don't forget to check out these videos and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more Disney, Star Wars, and Marvel videos. But until next time.